Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing um, like a little update kind of vlogish thing. This is a wig just because I didn't feel like doing my hair but I think it looks cute. So in this video I'm going to be talking about drinking after your vertical gastric sleeve. And this is what my doctor told me and these are my experiences. Uh, so let's get into it. So if you guys watch the surgery vlog, you'll actually see, and the link is down below for that, you'll actually see where I asked the doctor at the beginning, like the moment before surgery, I asked him, when can I drink again? <laughs> but yeah, I did ask, ask the doctor when I could drink again, um, and he was like, you can pretty much always drink, um, you just have to be very careful with what you drink and when you drink one because of the sugars in the drink and two because your stomach is so small it's gonna process the alcohol a lot faster so you're gonna feel a lot drunker and I was like oh whatever like cool thanks doc um I think I waited about a month before I had my first drink um and I will tell you I'm three months post-op right now um I cannot handle beer. I used to drink beer like nobody's business. I can have like two sips of beer and then after that I feel so full and like bloated. So beer is not for me. The alcohol that's been working for me has been either like mixed drinks um, like with tequila or and then with like a natural fruit not anything like fizzy nothing too sugary because then I'll feel poopy afterwards. Uh, but the drink that has been like 100% amazing for me is White Claw. White Claw is the best alcohol, in my opinion, for someone who has gastric sleep because it's super lightweight. I think there's like 60 calories in it, 60 or 70 calories. Um, and I think the last one that I had seen, it had like four grams of sugar, which is really cool. And it feels super lightweight. It does, it is bubbly, but it's a seltzer. Um, so it doesn't have like a crazy taste to it. And it's just like a nice drink to have. Um, so if you're thinking about drinking and you've had the gastric sleeve, I would definitely try out um, the White Claw and they have a bunch of different flavors and stuff. Or making your own drinks with like natural fruits and mixing it up and making like a margarita or whatever. Um, but the thing is, when the doctor told me, you're gonna get drunk faster and I was like, whatever, I can drink like a champion. Woo! Was I wrong? Um... You do get drunk hella fast. So, what I would normally, just to kind of give you an example of like my drinking tolerance, I was able to have maybe like five drinks, five beers, um, and I would barely feel like, hmm, feeling cute, feeling tipsy, might do something that I wouldn't have done when I'm sober, but I'm not drunk. Um, drunk for me is like five beers, three shots and I'm not moving around very much I'm kind of just like one after the other and not taking my time I'm kind of just down and I'm back so with that I would feel pretty drunk by then if I had like five beers and a couple shots I'd feel I'd feel pretty drunk with one white claw I think it has seven or eight percent alcohol <laughs> I felt wasted. I can't even remember when the first time was because every time I drink White Claw now, I just feel like throwed. Um, dang. I think it was at my friend's birthday party. We had gone to um, a dance hall and I had three White Claws at night and normally that night, in order to feel the way that I did, I would have had way more. That night, I had one White Claw and I remember I was like walking around with my friend and we were like trying to go find some other people at the club and we're walking around and then I looked at her and I was like, bitch, I'm drunk. And then she was like, oh, okay. Like she kind of like just like brushed it off like nothing. And we kept walking and the more I was walking, I guess the more my body was like digesting the alcohol or something. But I was like maybe... I wasn't even done with the whole drink. I remember carrying it around with me still. I maybe, the White Claw's like, let's say it's this big, I had like that much left. 
So I was still like drinking it and I like remember looking at her and I looked at her You know how when you're like drinking and you go to the restroom and then you just like kind of like Like your eyes are just like all over the place, you know, you're drunk That's how I felt and I was like what the fuck? I'm drunk already like I didn't know how to feel about it because I was like dang like I didn't get to drink that much like everyone can out drink me now like that's not fun but then on the other side I was like if I want to get tipsy all I need is one drink and I'll feel drunk so I was done for a while and then um, we went to go find our friends we found them we started dancing and stuff and we're like moving around and then 15 minutes go by and I feel perfectly sober and I was like what the heck like it's so weird and that has been happening I've been drinking ever since then um, I don't drink all the time but I'll drink maybe like once a week maybe on the weekends um, if anything and that makes me sound like an alcoholic I don't drink that much I don't know I like to drink but I never get drunk drunk well I do I don't know that has happened to me every single time that I drink now so whenever I drink I'll get drunk off of like one drink I feel super drunk and then like 15 minutes later I feel super sober like if I never even had a drink um, and I've talked to a couple of other people that have had this surgery before and they said they feel the same way so they feel like they kind of have to like keep drinking but slowly so that they don't get too drunk too fast but they'll keep their buzz because I completely stopped drinking and then I was like bro I'm sober like this is stupid like why are we even here but yeah so just be very careful the other people that I've talked to they said that their doctor didn't let them drink until six months after surgery I drank one month after surgery but literally everyone at the office I went to the doctor's office that I went to I asked everyone similar things and they all said you can drink alcohol you just have to be careful um and that's what they mean like you're gonna get wasted like super fast but yeah just make sure that you follow your doctor's instructions because every single doctor is different and if they're all different I feel like they do the surgery slightly different so drinking alcohol too soon might affect your surgery I try to stay away from very sugary drinks um, just because it makes me feel really sick afterwards like I'll feel like groggy and like I just don't like it um, but like I said White Claw so far has been the only one I tried some Bud Light seltzers um, and that was again too heavy I think it was still more on the beer side um, and like I said with the beer I can only have a couple sips before I start to feel like too heavy like bloated and like there's just too much gas in your tummy um, but so far I've never had I haven't had any struggles with the white claw giving me gas even though it is a seltzer um, and like I said it's like they have low calorie and low sugar so you're good to go on those I'll make like a recipe drink maybe like for VSG um, people um, so you guys can check that out soon. Stay tuned for that. Be sure to check out my other video of the vlog where I actually got the sleeve. Especially if you're interested in getting the gastric sleeve. You can see my experience and everything like that. I also have a post-op vlog. Um, I think it's like a one month update. Um, and right now, once again, I am three months post-op. And I am... 50 pounds down I feel like I'm losing a little bit slower than other people have but that's totally fine with me because it gives me a chance to kind of keep my skin tight um, even though I am getting a lot of loose <laughs> jiggly wiggly but even if you go back to like I think a couple videos ago I look hella fat I was like dang crazy but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, keep in touch with me Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and all my links of social media will be linked down below. Make sure you check out the other VSG vlog that I did of the day of surgery, especially if you're interested in getting it. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!